Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your Hello, brush, my name is Clive from Fetters Arts, all UK. Thank you for taking up my invitation to join me in the studio. Yes, and today we're going to be doing something different. Subscribe. Now, I mentioned uh, a couple of weeks ago that we were going to be working Clive on paper. Yes, acrylic is a water-based paint. So what that means is that we can actually paint on paper, watercolour paper, um, you can got canvas paper, and this particular one is an acrylic pad. There we go. This is uh, an acrylic pad, and it's made by Galleria. I hope you can see that. There we go. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a 16 by 12. You can get different sizes. It's 300 gram, 140 pound. And what I like about this is it's actually textured. It's actually got a canvas texture on it. One side is canvas. You shouldn't touch it with your fingerprints, really, because there's grease spots there. So one side is a texture, the other side is smooth. And the textured side has actually got a coating on it, which means that it's not so absorbent. Now, it does wrinkle when it gets wet. So that gave me an idea of doing some sort of um, painting with a difference. So without further ado, let's do that, shall we? Now, what you need to do is get a little bit of um, our greaseproof paper. There you go. And this is the first thing we need to do is get ourselves some greaseproof paper and to go and purchase, if you haven't already got it, some temporary repositional adhesive. This is a stick and spray and you'll find this in any craft shop. You need to give that a shake. And I've actually taken the liberty of cutting out um, a picture of a butterfly. There we are. And that's cut out in the same paper. You can use the same paper. And um, all we need to do is place our butterfly on there for the moment. Um, that's available on the website if you want to pop along to the tracings part um, There's going to be a picture there ready so you can um, right click and you can save it to your desktop and you can print it out and size it and um, There you go and that's the same with all the tracings So I'm just giving this little stick and spray a spray and the reason I put it on greaseproof paper Is because I don't want to contaminate my worktop because this it does get a little bit sticky So you need to stay about well, about 12 6 to 12 inches away and just give it a nice little light spray not too much because what we don't want to do is put too much adhesive on that because it's going to rip the paper I'm just going to put my stick and spray over there and what we need to do now is just put that one side and allow that to, to dry off and go tacky because we're going to take it onto another stage now what I've done is I've actually taken a bit of that um, that paper out of the pad and I've put it onto some masonette or some hardboard or whatever board you've got to hand. And I've stuck a little bit of masking tape all the way around the edge, like you would do if it, this was um, watercolour paper. And what that's going to do is going to try and prevent that from rippling. We can have a little bit of rippling, but not too much. So paper is very absorbent. So we don't have to worry about the 45% rule now with acrylic paints. So we can thin these paints down as thin as we want. and. I'm just going to put that one side. I've got a tin. Now this is my little my little bowl. There you go. That's my little bowl. Let's position that the way it is. Yeah, da -da. There we go. <laughs> I got a red camera. And you need to know where that is. So uh, the colours I've actually got are purple, blue, orange and green. Now I've taken a liberty of thinning them down already. But all I did was I'm going to just take a little bit of... There's my bin. There it is. Take a little bit of paint, a small amount of paint. Look, there's not much in there. Can you see? There's not much paint in there at all. That's all you need. Now you can pick any colour you want, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to put a little bit of water in there. Now this is more luck than judgement. So the thinner you make this, the more wishy-washy it becomes or the more transparent it is. So if you want a slightly thicker paint, add a little bit less water. But you just mix that, mix that in. Now, like I said, if you want a slightly thicker paint, then you just add a little bit of less water. Because there's water in acrylic paint, and that's why acrylic paint dries a lot quicker. Because that's what happens, the water evaporates and leaves the plastic resin behind. And that's all it is, yes. So, um, just keep mixing that. Now the thicker this paint um, is going to affect the effect affect the effect it is it's going to affect the effect that we want so we do need a little bit more fluidity to this paint so but not not too much 
and yellow tends to be a little bit on the transparent side anyway so bearing that in mind I'm just going to get a little bit of white and I'm just going to add a just a little tiny come on deep come on doesn't want to come there he is there he is add a little bit of white to it and all the reason I'm doing that is just to make this little bit more opaque and then we'll mix that in like a nice smooth watery paste now the good thing about these things is if you've got little containers you can save this in and all you need to do is go out and purchase um, a little syringe I'll show you a couple of little syringes like this on on eBay okay you can buy these without the needles don't buy them with the needles Oof, dangerous 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 what we can do is we can actually suck up this paint into these syringes put a little bit of blue tack on the end and before we use them we just give them a shake and then we've got a syringe full of paint there we are that's a little tip for you and let's just clean that out because I don't want it to dry on me there we are and that's what I tend to do if I'm going to be using acrylics like watercolors so we've got a nice light color there and I'm just going to leave that in the bowl just add a little bit more water to it there we are and you'll get it right there we are just if you wanted a bit yellower add a little bit more yellow there we are let's add a bit more yellow to it so I added a little bit more yellow then I want to show you that you can mix this quite thickly as well just break emblems up use an old brush don't use a new brush for this and then we can thin that down as much as we want there you go now I'm gonna leave that thick because I want this for a reason there we are I'm just gonna get that paint off my brush and wash it in my water there we go the other thing you're going to need are a couple of drinking straws very very simple things and um, let's just wash that so a couple of very very good string drinking straws you can leave one like that as normal and what I've done with this one I, I just squished and squashed the end like that so I, I bent the end up can you see bent the end made two little narrow little areas there because we're going to be blowing through them shortly we <laughs> are yes so now what we're going to do is bring our board back over and I just wanted to show you remember I mentioned these pill boxes before there you go I got some purple some blue some orange and green which I've already thinned and I'm going to be putting them let's put them there so you can see them on the camera can you see them on the camera no you can't there we are you can see them now okay so that's the colors we're going to be using there we go next thing we got to go back to our little butterfly and let's get our butterfly now so he should be ready he should be sticky and you can chuck that baking paper away or whatever you want to call it now you need to position your little butterfly somewhere on you and let's put let's put him by there and then just rub him down very gently with your fingers like that the reason we've stuck him down is because we don't want the paint to go under there and our bleed through but if we do well it doesn't matter does it but it's just an idea it's just a bit of a stencil there you go now the first thing we're going to do is get a little bit of kitchen roll and get a brush make sure it's nice and clean and not contaminated with any other color <laughs> and let's just get a bit of blue and just tap the brush like that with a couple of blue spots there you go can't tap the blue but you can put it on the paper like that if you wanted to just tap it blue like that wash that out and let's get our this is where the fun part starts let's get our our straw now and let's go directly above directly above that drop of paint You need a lot of puff for this. My head's gone light. <laughs> God, I haven't been as light headed as this since the seventies. <laughs> there you go. 
So that looks nice, doesn't it? Yes. Can you see that? Can you see the platter? So that's our blue. You can put more blue in there if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter. And um, let's get some purple now. That's, that's semi-wet, so let's put some purple in. Again, drip, drop, drip, drip. Doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever this, wherever you want to put these, it doesn't matter. Now try different patterns, just knock it differently. I'm going to use this one now, which this is the one that I squished. So let's try this. Oh, big breath. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry that with a hairdryer because I don't want it to um, actually uh, bleed again. So I'm going to do that very quickly. Okay, so we just dried that off. I've got a couple of wet areas there. I didn't go at it for too long, but you make sure you dry it off really well if you want. There you go. And let's put another colour on. Let's, uh, let's get some more kitchen on. What colour haven't we used so far? We haven't used orange, have we? So let's put some orange on. Let's do this again. Let's not not so much pressure this time. Now that's looking good, and you can you can do every painting you're going to do like this is going to be totally different, and um, you can you can use as many colours as you want, in as many different ways as you want. I'm just going to use a few today, just to show you what can be done, and um, I'm just going to get some green now, and this time, I'm just going to lay a nice gloopy line just down the bottom. There, like that. Try and get as much paint in there as I can. And it's best doing this in a cool room um, without any fans or air conditioning on if you can because it will tend to dry a little bit on you. Yeah, just put enough there. Oops, you put that back in my yellow paint then. Didn't want to do that. And get the brush. Ah, uh, the brush. It's not a brush, it's a straw. <laughs> I'm just blow up. some puff for this. <laughs> So that's trying to represent your grass. <laughs> so let's have a look. What else can we do? Well, quite simply, let's just get our brush and get a bit of this yellow in our brush. And we get another another brush then, which we hold in our hand like that. And then just... Tap a couple of... There you go. 
we can we can put a little bit of orange on that as well if we wanted to and let's put a little bit of blue And what we need to do now is really really dry that so I'm gonna just take that move that over to my workbench and I'm gonna dry that really well with my hairdryer so give me one second or I'll be back <laughs> well, it's not as dry as I want it but um, I haven't got a lot of time in the studio today because I want to do a few lessons today so just trying to make this a little quick one for you and this is something that you can do with the children that's really great so what you need to do now is get a knife or something like that and just lift up the edge and just hope that we've done our job right and then we've got our outline of our butterfly which hasn't turned out as good as I thought so maybe, maybe I'll tell you what we should do, let's put that back on. And this is the this is the joy of doing this type of thing that and this is the first time I've done this so let's put let's put him back on and let's concentrate I want to make that edge a little bit more defined there and this is something you've got to do so let's get let's get a what can we use let's get a bit of orange and let's just use the back of my finger for now I want that outline to look a little bit of green. So make sure when you do this, you do make sure these edges have got a lot of paint around them, I would say. Because you're not going to get that effect that you want otherwise. That's all it is at the end of the day is just a stencil, put a bit of purple, but that should be. All it is at the end of the day is just a stencil anyway. But this is a wonderful thing just to, to play around with and with yourself and the children or whatever you want to do. And I'm not going to dry that off with a hairdryer because it's taking too long. I'm hoping that that will just lift up now. We've got a shape of a butterfly. Yes, we have. What's that? I don't know. But if you wanted to, let's chuck that away. If you wanted to, we could actually go in there now um, with a small detail brush. Let's get a small detail brush. And um, I'm just going to get a touch of black on my brush. Because I've got some black in my palette. There we are. Got a small detail brush. And this, um, where's, my, where's my stencil? There we are. Let's have a look at him. Uh, how did I draw him? I drew, I drew him like this. There we go. Let's just put this. Actually, is one of his antenna there that one come off? There you go. This sticky stuff. If you put if you put too much of this stick and spray on, it does tend to it does tend to um, there we are. stick when it shouldn't stick. And that's not what we want, really. And let's put this. His wings in. There we go. And if you like butterflies, this is a brilliant way to do your butterflies. And if you want to put a lot more paint on than I have, then what you'll find is this butterfly will stand out a lot better. But as I said, I've never done this before, and I thought. The other day, I thought oh, that's a bit of fun. Let's have a go. Let's see. Let's see if we can do something different on on paper than what we normally do, because we normally work on canvas. So let's just get the butterfly in. Like that. 
and if you want to paint your butterfly and then I suppose what we could do now is we could we could put a spot there couldn't we could put a spot there and then let's get on a Bleed this in. Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. You just paint on you, like as if it's water, just it's get the Betty's paints all mixed together. So grab your brush, have a great time. Let's put a bit of orange on there as we put the And don't forget to click subscribe. Visit Clive5R.co.uk The two them all run together. As, as we speak with a bit of water, let's just get a little bit of, I don't know, who knows, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you could use a bigger brush. Leave a little bits of white showing. Leave little bits of white showing. You don't want to completely cover this. And this happens to be a watercolor brush, by the way. This is a sable brush. So it's a very soft, very soft brush. And um, I'm just gonna mix up a little bit of grey, which I got on my palette. Bit of, bit of water, make it nice and thin. And it's just there you go. Ah, uh, whatever. Then you can you can do that whatever which way you want. It doesn't really matter. And then you can just. Sign your name, and it's a very quick, easy, simple little painting for you to do um, for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and play it with the kids as well. So, I think that's a real fun way to actually do a painting. So, my name is Clive from Clive'sArt.co.uk. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the little me in the corner by there. If you haven't watched any of my videos before, that's going to subscribe you. There's a little icon there with my little thumb up like that with subscribe on it do that and um, there's an eye card there if you want to click there's a little circle with an eye if you just touch the screen very quickly with your finger you'll see a little eye pop up and then that's going to take you into playlists and things like that and you can find all my playlists all my videos on my website which is www.clifiwild.com.uk so in the meantime i'll see you on the next lesson of noise hey welcome thanks for stopping by it's time to learn with our friend clive so grab your brush, have a great time, and don't forget to click subscribe. Visit Clive5R.co.uk